struggling to pick your next Linux distro, Debian 13 Trixie versus MX Linux. The Ultimate Showdown Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we break down the best open source tools to supercharge your setup. If you are torn between the rock solid foundation of Debian 13 Trixie and the polished ace of MX Linux, you are in the right place. These two Debian family distros are powerhouses. But one might fit your workflow like a glove, while the other feels like the overkill. Today, we are going head to head on installation, performance, software, and more to help you decide which one just works for you in 2025. Let's dive in. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for more no BS Linux guides. First, the contenders Debian 13.1 Trexy and MX Linux 23.6 unveiled. Picture this Debian 13 Trexy is the veteran engineer, methodically reliable, and the backbone for countless servers and desktop worldwide. Released on August 9, 2025, with a point update to 13.1 just a month later. Trexy ships with the Linux kernel 6.12 LTS for better hardware compatibility, including official RISC-V support and enhanced security against modern threats like ROP attacks. It's aimed at users who want ultimate stability over Flash, with a philosophy of release when ready. Think three years of full support plus LTS until 2030. About unique perks, a massive auditor repository ecosystem and minimal loot out of the box. On the flip side, MX Linux is the approachable cousin, a community-driven spin on Debian stable, which is currently based on Debian 12 bookworm. With MX25 eyeing Trixie integration soon. As of mid-2025, the latest is MX23.6, featuring XFCE 4.20 for a snappy, customizable desktop, plus options for KDE or lightweight Fluxbox. It's all about midweight efficiency. Stable like Debian, but with user-friendly tweaks for everyday folks. What sets it apart? A suit of MX tools that makes tweaks feel effortless. And it's a top pick on DistroWatch for blending power with simplicity. So why compare this now? In 2025, with hardware evolving fast and users ditching proprietary OSs, choosing between pure Debian stability and MX polished vibe could mean the difference between a seamless daily driver and an endless tinkering. Whether you are a newbie booting Linux for the first time or a developer needing a bulletproof base, this battle has answers. Now, Installation and first boot experience. Let's start at the beginning. Getting this beast installed. Debian Trixie's installer is the classic Debian tool, which is text based and no frills, guiding you through partitioning, package selection, and desktop choices. For example, GNOME by default, but you can pick XFCE, KDE, or other during setup. It's straightforward for pros, but can feel intimidating for beginners. Expect 20 to 40 minutes on modern hardware, with options for encrypted drives or network installs. Post install, you boot into a clean GNOME desktop, functional with defaults like Firefox, LibreOffice, and a simple file manager. About the aesthetics, modern but understated like a well-organized toolbox. MX Linux flips the script with Calamaris, a graphical wizard that's a breeze even for Windows switchers. It auto-detects hardware, suggests partitions, and lets you slide in extras like full disk encryption without sweating the details. Often done in under 20 minutes. About the first boot, you are greeted by a vibrant XFCE desktop are your choice. Preloaded with essentials like Thunderbird, VLC, 
and the MX welcome screen for quick tweaks. It's polished with themes that feel fresh out of the box and immediate usability shines. Wi-Fi connects faster and tools pop up intuitively. Resource check at idle. Trexy with GNOME hovers around 600 to 800 MB RAM and near zero CPU on a mid-range laptop thanks to its lean kernel. MX XFCE edges it out slightly at 500 MB to 700 MB RAM. Fluxbox dips under 400 MB with CPU idling at 0 to 1% for that blazing fast feel. About disk space, both start lean at 10 to 15 GB used. So the winner here is MX for sheer approachability. Now, ecosystem and software management showdown. Software is where these distros flex their Debian roots. Rexy's Debian V revolves around APT, powerful, but command line heavy, with over 60,000 packages in its repos. You'll find everything from obscure dev tools to server stacks, but hunting via Synaptic, which is GUI frontend, can be a hunt. How about the availability? Top tier. If it's FOSS, it's likely here. For help, Debian's wiki and forums are encyclopedic. But expect technical lingo. Great for developers, less for casuals. MX builds on this with MX Tools. A graphical powerhouse for repo management, backups, and live snapshots. The MX package installer scans Debian Stable Plus backports and flat packs, making grabs for apps like Steam or VS Code a one click affair. About the software gaps, which is minimal, as it pulls from the same vast pool but adds conveniences like AHS for newer kernels. About the community, MX Forum is a warm hug. Video tutorials, quick responses, and less gatekeeping than Debian's purest vibe. Adds to MX for accessibility, but Trixie wins if you crave raw, unfiltered Debian purity. Now, performance, stability, and daily driving. So now the real test. How do they handle the grind? In benchmarks, Trexis kernel 6.12 boots in 15 to 25 seconds, launches apps snappily, and multitask like a champ under load. Think smooth 4K video editing on an i5 with 16 GB RAM. About the stability, it's the gold standard. Set it and forget it for servers or long haul desktops. With rare crashes, thanks to rigorous testing. About the daily driving, web browsing, which is Firefox, and media, which is VLC, feel solid. But light productivity might need tweaks for that extra zip on older gear. MX 23.6 shines brighter here, with boot times under 15 seconds, and app launches that feel instantaneous, even on 2010 era laptops. Under stress, which is example, compiling code while streaming, it holds steady with LiquorX kernel options for AHS users. Reliability matches Debian's, but MX optimizations make it more forgiving on retro hardware. For tasks like browsing, Netflix, or docs in library office, MX feels more alive, less stuttering, more responsive. Trexy for unyielding reliability, MX for PP hassle-free vibes. So who wins for you? Wrapping it up, Debian 13 Trexy strengths, unmatched stability, vast ecosystem, and future-proofing for developers or server admins. And about the weaknesses, include a steeper learning curve and less hand-holding. MX Linux counters with Beginner Bliss, custom tools, and low overhead. But it might feel extra if you love vanilla Debian. So, 
Tyler Biggs. Beginners or daily drivers, go with MX Linux. Its tools and XFC make Linux feel welcoming without dumbing it down. For developers or stability obsessives, Trexy, Pure Debian for scripting containers or when you need audited packages. For retro hardware fans, MX Fluxbox ships resources like fine wine. Maximum stability seekers. Twixy edges out, but MX is a close second with its Debian base. In this 2025 battle, there is no outright champ. MX takes the crown for most users, craving simplicity, while Trixie resigns for purest. Which one's calling your name? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Share your Distro War stories. And if this helped, like and subscribe for more comparison. Until next time, keep tweaking and stay open source. Peace out.